It is Friday, November 4th, 2022, and I've already knocked out three catering orders that put me at $221 for the day on the low end and then $227 on the high end for the day. But I'm out at Dinner Rush right now at 619, and I'm gonna be multi-apping between DoorDash and Uber Eats to try to make a quick 80 bucks. How long do you think it's gonna take me to make that kind of money? Put it in the comment section down below and let's get to this money bag. Now, since you watched me work, it's only fair to show you the offer that came in for the miles and the time that it came in. So the first order I had that come through was a 9.25 going 4.9 miles. This one came at 6.27 p.m. All right. Uh, the next one I had that came through was for an additional add-ons plus seven going 2.3 additional miles. And this one came in at 6.28. All right, just to keep the ball moving here. That $7 turned into $10, and the 925 turned into 978. All right, uh, the next order I had was a 750, total will be higher. All right, uh, going 2.8 miles uh, at 716. All right, this is a new block, and I'll explain how I, how I schedule my blocks and stuff like that. All right, in a minute. All right. Um, then I had an add-on for an additional 1.7 miles for $7. All right. This one came in at $7.18. Um, the, next, uh, the next screenshot here, uh, the $7.50 turned into $14.87. And then the uh, $7 turned into $9. Okay. Now, moving on here. This is thirteen fifty going ten miles for thirteen items. I was like, "Is this a catering order? Is this a large order?" I've never gotten an order this size before, and I was like, "Nah, maybe it's not." Then I looked at the dollar amount, the order cost, or the subtotal was like one hundred and fifty six dollars. I was like, "I never got something this large," but okay. So I accepted it no matter the miles because I felt like it was going to change, right? Uh, not just because of it saying that um, the total will be higher, right, at the bottom there. Um, I was just like, nah, this got to be worth my miles. The way I've seen how these offers come through, it got to be worth my miles. So I said, all right, this one came in at 759 And then on top of that, 
they send me another one from a re- uh, a neighboring uh, restaurant called Scrooby's or Scrubby's for six dollars on the same route. Okay, this one came in at eight o two p.m. All right, when I was done with the six dollar one, it turned into ten fifty, and the next one it. it I didn't get a chance to take a screenshot because my dash ended, as you see here. Um, it ended, it started at 7.15 for an hour and 21 minutes. It ended at, as you see up here, 8.36. As soon as I was about to take the screenshot, if you really do the calculation, 7.15 to 8.15, that's an hour, right? And then 21 minutes, that's 8.36. As soon as I was trying to get the screenshot, <laughs> it just it just changed up on me. So for those that wanted to see the total payout, it was 19 bucks. If you want to do the total uh the total uh of everything afterwards, it's entirely up to you to see if I'm lying or not. <laughs> All right. All right. Um on this dash, 715 to 830, I made 53 bucks and 37 cents. And then I got another order that's I started a new dash at 9 p.m. All right. Wait, maybe I showed it here. Maybe it shows here. Yep. As you can see up here, it says I have another dash that starts at 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. And this dash ended at 8.36. So I was just cruising back, back to my area. All right. Just cruising back. No issues. Right. I just felt like, okay, I got like $2 a mile, you know, or more than $2 a mile. So I'm like, all right, no problem. You know, let's, let's go back. Right. I ain't going to take no other offers. I'm just going to head back. Then I decided to start my new dash at 850. So with that 850, I forgot to take the screenshot of the order. It was like $9 and some change going like 6.6 miles. So I took that one and it was taking me out of my zone. And this is what the total payout was. Right, so it was 925 going like 6.6 miles or something like that. This was the order. I ended up leaving it at the door. And then while I was dropping that one off, I got an Uber for $12.44 going 6.8 miles at 9.13. Okay. Um, when I was done with that Uber and I got my tip and everything, ended up being $14.44. So when I calculated how much I made with my catering orders in the morning, and for lunch and how much I made on DoorDash that night and Uber Eats, I totaled up to $98.45. So my $80 goal was knocked out before 10 p.m. I started at 626. And if you really do the math and really count the time, 626, 726, that's one hour, two hours, 826, three hours, 926, right? So Three, let's just let's just call that three and a half hours. I made ninety eight dollars and forty five cents, and then on the low end it would be three hundred and nineteen dollars and forty five cents, and on the high end three twenty five forty five. All right. So this is pretty much what my day was like. But before I let y'all go, I wanted to explain how I schedule myself on DoorDash. I have more of a staggering schedule, so I only do hour dashes. Um, so let's say for instance, I schedule from 6 PM to 7 PM, right? That's one hour. Then I give myself that 30 minute stretch and then I schedule 7 30 to 8 30 and then nine to 10. Right. But I don't just wait until the time that my dash starts for me to start dashing. All right. So in this case, the 6 PM to 7 PM dash, I started at 6 26. So I made that $19 and some change in about, I think it was like 30 something minutes. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> All right. All right. My math is off. You do the math if you wish to do so. Um, the next dash started at 715. Right. And then I made the total that I'm, uh, the total amount of 53 bucks and some change um, by 836. And then the next dash, I started it at 850, even though that dash was supposed to start at nine. And I ended it before it hit 10 p.m. 
So I have this staggering type of scheduling going on. And I use that because even though my dash schedules is scheduled for a certain time, I can always dash now 15 minutes before that dash begins. So I take advantage of the 15 minute window to start your dash. So technically speaking, I'm scheduling for an hour, but it's really an hour and 15 minutes because I start my dash before the time to start the dash. And that's pretty much it. So if you found value in this video, make sure you do me a favor and squeeze the life on the blast and like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit subscribe, click the bell and join the family because nobody else will understand what you go through except another driver just like you. And I'll see y'all in the next video. This is...